podcast, The Beauty Advisor. This is the place where we discuss the latest trends in health and beauty, review beauty products, and help you navigate the cosmetic counters. I'm your host and beauty advisor, Deanna Lynn. Today, I have a very special show, and I'm very excited to welcome a guest, Cindy Foe, who's a independent makeup artist, and she's also a fellow beauty advisor from NYR Organics. Cindy's going to talk to us today and give us some tips on how to pick color match the right foundation for your skin. She's also going to give us some tips on how to create a natural makeup look. Cindy, welcome to the show. Thanks, Deanna. It's really great to be here talking with you. I have been a fan of your show. So this first talk is about getting the right foundation. It's ironic that nailing the natural look often takes a crazy amount of time and products. Luckily, that doesn't have to be the case. Bobby Brown Makeup Artist says that one of Bobby's greatest mottos is that every woman wants to look like themselves, just more beautiful and confident. Picking the right makeup base is so important. You want something that gives you enough coverage without totally covering you up. Makeup artists always say that you don't want to see foundation and concealer. You want to see skin. Look for oil-free products if you have especially oily skin. And opt for moisturizing foundations or tinted creams if you're on the drier side. And steer clear of the matte finishes. If you go too matte, it starts to look like makeup and not skin. Picking the best foundation for your skin tone can be a tricky game of chance. Too light, too dark, too warm, it's not quite right. But you need a solid foundation for the rest of your makeup to look naturally flawless. First, find your undertone. And the first thing you want to do is determine if your complexion has a warm, yellow, cool, pink, or neutral undertones. One trick is to look at the veins in your wrist. If they appear blue or purple, you're cool. Green or olive, you're warm, and if they're a mix of both, you're neutral. Next, select your coverage. Do you want full, medium, partial, or sheer coverage? How much of your natural skin do you want to show through your foundation? You'll find foundation colors in all different types of coverage, so decide what finish you'd like to be. Test. Does it disappear? Once you've determined your tone, pick out a few colors to try. Make sure you test the foundations along your jawline in several lighting environments. The right color of foundation will essentially disappear onto your skin. That's your match. For people with richer skin tones, match to the center of your T-zone. That's the area around your forehead, your nose, and your mouth. Create a custom color. If you're having trouble deciding between two similar shades, I recommend you go with a lighter option because you can always add a little custom color with bronzer or blush. Now apply what you've learned, literally. Here's three steps to applying your foundation. First, use a brush to apply your foundation and that's gonna help you use less and make the application smoother. And that's if you use a Kubi brush. Uh, Achieve an airbrush look by using circular motions. Two, dot three dabs of foundation across your forehead two on each cheek, and two on your chin. Blend the product down from the forehead across the bridge of your nose. To build coverage, you can layer on just a touch of full coverage foundation. Be sure to clean your brush after each use, and that's going to avoid that cakey look. And here's a tip. Depending on your desired coverage, Bobbi Brown creams are great because they're a primer, light moisturizer, and tinted foundation all in one. And because it's not too watery and it comes in many shades, it gives you a truer match. Number three, dip a fluffy brush like a large powder brush into powder with a packing motion, not a swirl. Set your T-zone with powder using the same packing motion. For oily skin, you're going to want to be sure to set the foundation with a translucent powder like Neutrogena Shine Control. So now let's talk about finding your perfect blush. If you're not sure if you should go pink, red, or peach, here's a tip. When picking a cheek color, you always want to use the color of your lips or your natural blush color. So if you can't think of how rosy your cheeks typically get, just hold options up to your lips to find the right hue. Use the chest test for bronzer. Avoid a coat orange over bronzing by using the color of your chest as a guide. The key is thinking about your skin's undertones and how you tan. Since your chest is typically a more even tone than your face, you can use this as a starting point. 
Once you find your shade, don't forget to sweep a little on your neck and upper lip, which are two of the most commonly overlooked spots. Now we wanna get a subtle glow. Highlighter is one of those tricky products that's easy to get wrong. If you're too light, you'll risk a whitish or silvery effect. Pick one in your skin tone so it looks like you're glowing. Apply it right at the highest point of your cheeks for a little shimmer when the light hits you. Fill in your brows. One thing Bobbi Brown mentioned was the importance of defining your brows. Her secret weapon? Eyeshadow. Use a shade slightly darker than your hair color and fill eyebrows in with shadow and a brow brush rather than a pencil. This is going to give you a softer, more natural look. But don't be afraid to consult a makeup artist for the right product, since finding your perfect shade can be difficult. Have a signature lip color. A woman should have her no mirror lip color. That means that you carry it around in your purse, you don't need a mirror to put it on, and you know it'll look great. To find this magical shade, look at your natural lip color and go one shade brighter or a shade darker, depending on which you prefer. I also suggest opting for a creamy formula, which tends to be more forgiving and natural looking. Brighten up your eyes. You don't need to go full on smoky to make your eyes pop. After choosing your favorite eyeshadow, line your eyes using a shade darker than your eye color. Brown eyes will want to go with black or dark brown, while blue or green eyes can get a little more creative. It should be thinner at the inner corner and a little thicker at the end. That way it gives the eye a lift. Then you're gonna to wanna to top with a few cuts of mascara and you wanna make sure to go all the way to the lash line, which helps define and lift the lashes. Cindy, thank you so much for preparing that for us. Those were some great tips and I hope you'll come back to the show again. We'd love to hear from you again. Hey, hi, I hope these tips are helpful and thanks for having me on today. I want to thank you all for listening, and I want to invite you over to AskTheBeautyAdvisor.com. I hope you'll stop by there and leave us a comment. Give us your tips on finding the right foundation or natural how to naturalize your makeup. Um, also, if you'd like to be on the show, you can contact me at AskTheBeautyAdvisor.com. Until next time, please stay healthy and be beautiful.